All right. So uh, I wanted to go through a quick understanding of how to adjust uh, your rates and make it somewhat easier to fly uh, your Cinewhoop or honestly any drone that you have, uh, especially when you're first learning. Uh, we ship all of our units with our base tune and our base settings that we believe are, are best for any average pilot or anyone that can fly uh, FPV to use these tools and get the shots they want. So to be able to fly smooth and slow, but also being able to fly fast and be able to be agile and make those acrobatic moves in the, in the small few situations that you typically want them. Um, this is a balance that is difficult sometimes to achieve uh, but we believe that our settings, and we'll show you those settings, uh, uh, kind of help you do that. Uh, and we're also going to walk through um, how to adjust them and how to even just see them on the screen kind of working. Because there's a way uh, for you to better kind of understand this yourself hands-on. So I recommend everybody does this at some point when they do get their drone for the first time or they are first starting to fly. Uh, play with your rates and really understand how they affect things. So. Uh, right now, uh, I have beta flight open. Uh, I actually have connected uh, the drone, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, it unconnected. So we're gonna go ahead and unconnect it. Um, we're gonna also take the props off. You always wanna take props off uh, when you have your drone on the bench and you're gonna be putting battery power to it. Uh, there are tons of safety features built into beta flight, but everything can fail, especially if boards fail, hardware fails or is damaged. So always take props off is going to be our first thing. Um, so we've got the props off. Uh, I'm going to unplug the USB from my computer. So right now I have just both ends of the USB in my hand. Uh, I'm not going to plug one end yet to the computer. Uh, the USB port on your squirt or your geyser is going to be dead center and it's going to be um, on the right hand side. Uh, it's, it's at a place where you're going to need to kind of bend your cable 90 degrees. So get as low profile or as short of a in piece here because it makes it easiest and kind of bend 90 degrees on it uh, with the flat part of your USB up. So the top of the USB up. You're going to position it right over the USB and you can kind of just see it. You're not going to see it on camera. And then you're going to just use your finger and push it right in. Be very careful. Make sure if you have to, you can take the battery off just to get some more kind of eyesight in there. And you can actually see the USB as you come from the bottom, which is it's best to go from the bottom. And you can just right there, hit it in the USB and then just take your thumb and push it. And so now the USB is connected to the flight controller. Uh, we're now gonna connect the, the, the USB to our computer uh, with beta flight open. All right, so up here, once you connect and you get your audible tone, you should see the comm port automatically select the comm that it's connected to. Um, connect. And now you'll see uh, on the top left side over here where my cursor is, it tells us uh, what firmware it's running, what board it's running, uh, and it tells me the name of the aircraft. This one says that it's Nate Geyser. Uh, that's because we dumped uh, a file on there that was for someone else. Uh, now, when we go into our receivers tab, we'll see that none of the receiver is currently working, and, and that's fine. Um, that's because we don't have our radio on. So we're gonna power our radio on, all right? And we also need to connect that battery to the drone. Once everything is powered on, we should get a reading from the receiver. All right, so there you go. So you see the receiver uh, right here went from 885 to 1013 and we see the 1500s. So we go left, we go right. And what I wanna show you is as I move these sticks, you can see 
the aircraft here move. And you can see how fast it moves when I go full stick deflect. So stick deflection means how far you move the stick or the, the, the deflection, the angle or the, the, the rate and the speed that you move it. So angle def or all, full deflection would be full one direction. Same thing over here, left, right, pitch forward, pitch back. And you can see on the aircraft little preview, you can see the arrow so it tells you which way is forward so you can kind of see how it how it reacts so you can right here on your screen really play with and understand what the rates and how they feel on your aircraft right so this is moving at the rates that are per currently set so what we can now do is um, we go to the uh, tuning page so the PID page and this is where we get our rate profile so rate profile is going to be the middle tab in PID tuning. Uh, do not mess with anything else, especially if you don't know what you're doing on the PID tab or the filter tab. Uh, we're only going to mess with the middle tab. And what you're going to see is we set the original rates to 1.1. We set the super rate to 0.75. And we set the expo at 0.25 and 0.35 on the yaw. Now, the reason we do this is you'll see that the degrees per second or revolutions per second are here. And what we get is 832 degrees of revolution per second. So... <clears throat> That means that every one second that the stick is deflected on the roll 100%, we're gonna get 832 degrees of revolution. Now we can change this in a few different ways. We can change it by altering the super rate, which you see changes that 830 to it starts going down. It goes down pretty significantly. It goes down 30 points per, per point of super rate. Over here on RC rate, you're gonna see a much finer amount of control as to how much it changes. The reason is regular rate, and you'll see this as I move the stick. So if you see the way that I'm gonna move this stick, regular rates are in effect right now, right now. Super rates, don't come into effect until right here, right? You see right here, it's still, it's revolving maybe, I don't know, like one revolution a second still. But when we go full deflect, we get much faster revolution. So what we can do to show you the difference here is I'm gonna actually take this and make it 0.5. So we've now slowed these rates down to 0.5. Let me save it. I don't know why the, the preview disappeared, but we'll go back. All right. And now you'll see how much slower. Look how slow it's spinning, but I still get a full revolution. It speeds up to one full revolution per second or 378 degrees when I full deflect. Same thing here. Now look how fast, much faster that's rotating compared to this. So that was just altering the RC rate. I don't want to alter the RC rate. 1.1 um, to 1.2 is typically what we run on our RC rates. And that's because, again, it gives you a really nice finite control right here. But when you start getting a little excessive, it starts getting faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually dumb super rate down to 0.5. Actually, we're going to go to 0.35. That beeping will happen every two minutes uh, that you don't arm. So you can unplug the battery and plug it back in is the best way to make that work. Uh, so we're gonna go to 0 0.35 here, but 1.1 here. You notice that we end up at about the same revolutions uh, by doing this. Uh, but what you're gonna see in the preview over here is now we still roll at about the same rate but it's constant. Full stick deflect, it doesn't matter. Not at all. So basically, if you wanna make it to where 
you don't have those huge floppy rolls. What you can do is turn your super rate down to 0.35 or maybe even we could go to 0.5 probably. We'll save that. And now we spin pretty decently. And this is about what I would say 0.35 on your super all the way across the board will give you a really nice single rotation all across the board pretty much or right around that. Um, now again, this is how I would recommend new pilots first starting to fly when they're uncomfortable with the controls or feel like every movement uh, is just a little too big or a little too heavy. Uh, this is how we would go ahead and adjust that. Uh, so please always feel free to come over here and plug in to your tuning and come into the rates and watch on the screen. And the cool thing is, is I can actually sit here and you know really play with understanding how the aircraft moves visually on the screen in a way that the only other way to do this is to do it in real life. So this is great information and a great way to just kind of practice your line of sight control with that arrow on the quad showing you the forward in the top. So you know, hey, okay, so to do a flip, ah. Um, but again, I will say, when you want to start rolling and flipping, it is not, do not use these rates. If you wanna do rolls and flips, you need to push this at least probably up to about 65. You're gonna want your your spins to be double the speed of a, of a single rotation at least because if you try to roll too slow, too, too close to the ground, you're just gonna basically go right into the ground. You're gonna roll over in a barrel, uh, not in a, in a roll. So that's where right about here, I think would be a really good spot to where you're still able to flip and roll pretty, pretty well, but you're not gonna actually flip out and roll like 14 times. Uh, when you really get up there and really want to, um, when you really get up there and you really want to uh, up the rates, that's where you can start getting into the like, I mean, you can go all the way up to 1.0 over here and at 1.0 or higher uh, and even adjusting some of these rates, we start getting into where, I mean, it, it'll, it'll spin really fast. Uh, and the cool thing is your quad will, you know, catch itself and, and set itself in the right position if it's tuned right. So the fact that, you know, on screen, you have to do it, but this is where you can practice your timing to make sure that you know you know what a, a flat spin is to, to go 100, 180 degrees, oh, upside down, see? So you need to learn that kind of timing so your brain, with all of this information processed and in, in how you're, you're moving the aircraft, really um, you know understands it and connects with it. So. At any rate, that is our quick little synopsis on how to adjust your rates um, and keep them nice and smooth. Uh, the last part of this is going to be Expo. Uh, I will quickly run over what Expo is and, and, and how to use it. Um, Expo, we put 0 0.25, 0 0.25 and 0 0.35 on everything. Uh, we do that because Expo basically means that as you start to push the stick, it only goes so fast. And then as you go higher, it goes a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. And then it reaches a